Tonight, the officer is recovering while state police spent the evening questioning those suspects. The scene today extended from Edgewood to Cedillo and finally to Albuquerque. Let's get to News 13's Jamie Seymour, who is live outside of the Mr. Gas Station in Edgewood with a look at how everything unfolded. Jamie. This is where it all started just over 12 hours ago when an officer came to this gas station on Route 66 in Edgewood before a clerk came out to report drug use in one of the bathrooms. That's when things quickly escalated. It's a crime scene trail that led dozens of officers from multiple New Mexico departments swarming from Edgewood to Albuquerque. State police say it started when one of their supervising officers was called to the Mr. Gas in Edgewood just after 8 Friday morning with reports of criminal activity in the bathroom. The, the clerk told us that she was in there uh, using drugs. That, that's the info we got. When that officer went to confront the suspects who were already outside, they say the man and woman from the gas station backed a silver Cadillac into the police cruiser multiple times before leading that officer on a six mile chase down Route 66 towards the Cedillo Hill Bridge over I-40. Our supervisor was able to perform a pit maneuver, at which time uh, the suspect's vehicle crashed. Gunfire erupted between the two, the man shooting at the officer at least once before the suspects took off on foot, causing officers to close down much of the area as they searched on foot and in the air. James Crosby was stuck in traffic for hours, waiting to get to the other side of the freeway while his kids waited at home. The kids were at home and I couldn't get to them and it was, it was a little nerve wracking. Investigators found information in the car and at the gas station bathroom that led them to the suspects in Albuquerque. They located the woman at the Tewa Lodge in Central and the man not far up the road at Central in Wyoming. Uh, so we have a male and a female uh, who are the suspects we believe this morning. It was a male and a female in that vehicle. Uh, and we tracked them back to Albuquerque through various investigative tools. Uh, we, like I said, I think we think it's them, but it's going to take us a bit to figure out for sure if it is. They're still trying to figure out how the suspects got to Albuquerque and who may have helped them. Keith Callison arrived at the Mr. Gas to set up his jerky stand not long after the chase. He says while it made for an eventful Friday doing business, it's not surprising to know what started it. Most of these drug people, they try and lie low. They don't want any attention, but they're not the smartest people. That officer is now recovering at UNM Hospital where he's in stable condition. Police are not releasing his identity except to say he's a veteran officer and a supervisor with the state police with years of experience along this corridor of I-40. He is expected to be okay. Back to you. All right, good news tonight, Jamie. Thank you. The chief did say that Cadillac was not reported stolen. State police took the suspects to state police headquarters to question them. At this hour, they have not yet released their names.